What is up everybody and welcome back to another Among Us video and in this video I'm gonna be telling you about one of the most legendary battles of all time. While I was playing Among Us I actually got to witness a battle against Molten and Aquatic. The battle against Water and Fire. On one side we have the Water Imposter known as Aquatic and on the other side we have Molten the Imposter of Lava. I actually got to witness this battle with my very own eyes and you won't believe what happened next so you won't want to misses. And before we get any further into this video, I do want to ask you guys a question. What imposter do you think is gonna win? And I also want to know in the comments, what imposters do you guys want to see fight next? So if you want to be one of the first to watch these imposter fights, make sure that you subscribe to the channel with the bell icon turned on. And if you do enjoy this video and want to show your support, make sure to leave a like down below. But now let's begin with today's story video. So while I was playing Among Us, I couldn't help but wonder the message that Molten was trying to tell me. Me and Molten have a love-hate relationship. I don't necessarily think Molten is a bad guy, but I also don't think he's a good guy either. I joined this regular match of Among Us to look for Molten. Hopefully I can find him and get the response that I'm looking for. I haven't been able to play correctly these past few days because of my recent encounter with Murray. And something tells me that the imposters are trying to hide something from me and Molten wasn't okay with it. I don't think that's normal. It just doesn't make any sense why Molten wants to work with me even though he knows I'm a crewmate and he's an imposter. Something must have happened that made Molten change his mind. It was now the beginning of the match and I was a crewmate. I spawned instead of the main hall and I took a quick shower. Hopefully that helps clear my mind. But I still have a mission to do, which is to find out the message that Moen is trying to tell me. As I was looking around the map, the lights turned off. And I just found it so strange that nobody was turning them on. It has been a few minutes already. What is taking the crewmate so long? So I made my way over to the viewing deck and I found Pink's body. And I did see the vent move, but I first gotta report the body. I had a plan to figure out who the imposter was, since this was a recent elimination. So I typed in the chat where was everyone at and who was near you. Cyan then told me that they were with Brown in showers. So that means that Cyan and Brown are 100% safe. It can't be them. I told the crewmates that I saw the vent open and that it was a recent death. The crewmates were then asking me where the body was at and I told them that it was on the left side, which was the viewing deck, and I saw the vent open. That's why I'm asking you guys who is near you. Cyan then later told me that Lime was also with them. So for now, Cyan, Brown, and Lime should be safe. We ended up skipping and I spawned inside of the engine room, and I began to look around for any clues on what happened to Molten. I did a quick task in the armory and I went back to the engine room and while I was in there the lights turned off and I began to hear a really loud sound and it's coming from the bottom of the engine room. I began to look around to see what was causing this noise and I was honestly getting really worried. The engine room is the last place that you want some sort of explosion. It would cause the entire airship map to go down. But what could be hiding underneath? A body was reported but I was so distracted by the engine room that I have no idea who it could be. We ended up skipping again and I decided to spawn inside of records so I went down into showers and I could hear another sound. It sounds like running water and I have heard this before. It's from aquatic. I didn't see anything in the showers though even after looking around but that is when I saw yellow take out cyan and this is exactly what I have seen before when I first saw aquatic. I reported the body and I told the crewmates that I saw yellow take out cyan and yellow began to blame me. I told the crewmates again that it was yellow and not to trust him and that he ran away through the main hall. This completely backfired because the crewmates voted against me and I was ejected. As a ghost I was looking around the engine room wondering what was causing that noise. Could that be Molten trying to communicate with me or is this just some strange coincidence? I guess only time will tell. We ended up winning that game because the imposter left but there's still a mystery to be solved and I'm gonna be the one to solve it. I was now in another lobby and I was the imposter. Hopefully this can help me communicate with Molten since I am the imposter. I was honestly clueless on what to do because I'm usually not the imposter and I don't want to get caught. So I'm just gonna pretend to do my task. 
and also sabotage the crewmates so I can look around the map for any clues. The majority of the crewmates were on the top portion of the map and I'm trying to get them as far as possible in case Molten or Aquatic decide to show up. I then decided to return back to the engine room which is one of the locations that I heard a strange sound. And when I was in the engine room the entire room became orange and the floor was turning into lava. What is going on? Is Molten right under the engine room? Everything then returned back to normal and I left the engine room in fear and I was also confused. There is no way Molten made it all the way to the airship map. He wouldn't survive in these conditions. But then again Aquatic somehow made it inside of the airship map in the showers. But this could be a warning from Molten. Since I did take out White earlier, his body was then eventually reported. I'm pretty sure no one is gonna suspect me since I wasn't near the scene. Luckily the crewmates were blaming a player with the UFO so I should be okay for now. We ended up skipping and nobody was ejected but I'm gonna have to check the shower area. Maybe something happened in there just like the engine room. When I spawned in I instantly made it over to showers and I was correct I could hear the running water and that is when a wave of water appeared on my screen but aquatic was nowhere to be seen. The water then completely completely vanished and I ran towards the opposite side of the map. I don't want to be the one to blame for this flood. As I was walking around the map someone called a meeting and the crewmates were suspecting me for no reason which led towards me being ejected. I may have lost this round but I at least got closer to my answer. Molten should be coming soon. I then joined another match and I was in disbelief. It was Molten. How did he get me in his lobby? Molten then sent a message in the chat and he said Chari I need your help with what? Molten then told me that someone broke the water pipes on the map of Polis. I tried to tell you but I couldn't. The map is flooding and if we don't do something, we are all in danger. I was really concerned on everything that Molten was telling me. So I asked Molten what can I do to help? Molten then told me that he needs me to go check who broke the pipe and that he also wants me to at least try to fix it. I don't know how I feel about working with an imposter, but okay I will help. I am on the way. I was now on the map of Polis. I need to make my way over to the water pipes which I found in O2 and I need to see who it was and hopefully I can do something to fix it. And when I walked inside of the boiler room I could hear the sounds of the water. It was so loud but I didn't see anyone. Who was the one that broke the pipe? I quickly made my way over to the lava pool to tell Molten all of the information that I recently discovered. But when I arrived, a wave of water appeared from behind me and it was aquatic. Molten then appeared from under his lava pool and both of the creatures began to clash. Water versus fire, who will win? After the flash of light appeared on my screen, Molten and Aquatic were gone. Where did they go? If you would like to know what happened next, let's see if we can get this video to 30,000 likes. I know we can do it. I do also want to give a massive shout out to Kitty King for helping me produce this video. If you would like to help out a smaller creator, make sure to go check out his channel and subscribe to him. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more Among Us story videos, make sure that you hit that subscribe button with the bell icon turned on. And check out these other Among Us story videos that are found on my channel.